Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nets video series on C++ and in this video we will be learning about void and void pointer, ok. So lots of people get confused like where to use void and, and what is the use of void pointer and what actually it can contain and all that, ok. So I have tried to catch all those points and this is the summary for that, ok. So let's start with the void now. So void means nothing. First point is void means nothing. You will use this to denote nothing. And what is that nothing? If some function is not returning anything, then we use void type to denote that. And let's see what is that. So if some function is like this and you are doing whatever you want and just simply returning from here or just returning nothing. Okay. This nothing means you are returning void. And let's suppose you are not writing this then also this is ok ok so this is one use of void data type to denote that some function is not returning anything let's look at the third point if some function does not take any parameter then we use void to denote that and the same thing for parameter as well so if you are not taking any parameter you will denote that with void ok so if someone is seeing your functions declaration like this they will be knowing that okay you are not returning anything and you are not getting anything inside this function ok so that is the second use of that now let's look at the fourth point we cannot create a void variable that is something which is important you can use void in functions return and parameter type but you cannot use it like this x is equal to 10 or something or even just simple void x no if you will compile this it will throw an error saying that variable or field x declared void. It means it is universally known that you cannot create a variable of void. Okay. So that's another point. And yeah, fifth point is little interesting point. It says that if you are taking the size of void like this, size of void, then if this compiler, what I'm using is GCC, then it is one. Okay, GCC standard says that the size of void is 1. So if you will print that, you will get 1. See, in tiny this corner it is printing 1. But still we are giving the warning here like you are getting the size of a void type. Okay, but if this is let's suppose a visual compiler, I mean visual C++, a Microsoft compiler, then it won't. So let's check that. So in order to check that I have one website here, this I will choose as a C++, VC++, okay, Visual C++ and wait for some time it will set, yeah, now we are set. If you will try to do the same thing here like std c out size of void and just std endl, if you will run this you will get the error, see it is an error void illegal size operand so you cannot pass void inside size of that's the rule in visual c plus plus and c but in case of gcc it is one okay that's something you can remember if you want to so that was about void if i miss out something please give me in the comment it will be really very helpful for others and i would really appreciate that so let's go for void point i don't have much about void pointer but let's talk about the first point void pointer is a universal pointer and why let's see here in second point we can convert any data type pointer to void pointer except function pointer constant or volatile okay so if your pointer is a function pointer you cannot type cast into void pointer if your pointer contains constant then also you cannot go for void pointer and same for volatile pointer okay except these three things you can typecast almost anything into void pointer and that is up to my knowledge if you know something else you can comment okay i would always appreciate that because it would help others as well so to demonstrate this second point let's write some code here so the second point is your void pointer can hold any pointer so let's create some dummy pointer here integer a is equal to new integer let's suppose you are having this value 10 
and wide pointer v is equal to a okay if you will compile this it's gonna get compiled say it has compiled so there is no problem in this you can assign interior pointer into void pointer and as I told you in my previous video we talked about static cast and here comes the use of that void pointer so if you compile this it will work and we should typecast this using void I mean static cast okay because this is a compile time check and we should always go with this kind of cast first okay if we are typecasting something like this and as I said you cannot typecast function pointer so let's see that as well so if I'm having something like void function and this is a function you can see that let me give a space and what you're doing is just simply typecasting this function f u n inside void pointer but it won't do that see it's an error invalid static cast from void this this void double bracket means it's a function and you're just typecasting that into void pointer and that's not allowed okay so it shows that you cannot use function pointer in case of void pointer assignment and as I said constant also has the boundary so let's check that as well integer pointer i is equal to new integer 10 so if you will do this let's compile see still it is telling that invalid static cast from constant integer pointer to type void pointer and if you will just simply remove this cast I mean constant let's compile this again see it's successfully compiled it means you cannot convert constant pointer to a void pointer okay and uh, this one is a volatile and same goes with this one so let's try volatile and if I'll compile this see it is telling you the same thing okay so we have seen all these points now look at the third point which says that you cannot dereference void pointer and what do I mean by that is like this if you want to print something you cannot use something like this okay because to dereference something like this you must be having a type okay I mean some non generic type I can say because a void is a generic type it's like you can assign almost anything except this okay to void and we'll see where we can use that I have listed some use cases here that is some other point but third point is you cannot dereference that and let's compile that see we got the error okay but you can always use it by typecasting back to its original type which is this one like static cast integer pointer and v so if you will typecast it like this and you have got this 10 now okay so you can use it like this you have to go back and then dereference it okay so that was about void and void pointer bottom line says that first bottom line says which is the only bottom line I can say here is void means nothing and void pointer means pointer to anything except function pointer constant or volatile we saw that okay now come to the use cases where generally we use these things the best use which maybe each and every programmers would understand is malloc and calloc we would have used it like this let me give you the demonstration if it is like this malloc size of integer so that's how we use it will create four byte of memory and malloc always return void pointer and that's the key you always typecast that void pointer into integer pointer don't forget that we write like this to typecast the void pointer what we get from malloc into integer pointer and assign that into the variable okay some people might say that we don't write this but still it works and that's because there is this implicit conversion in C but if you will write this kind of code in C++ it won't work okay so let's compile this code like this so it has compiled here now if you will remove this and compile it will say error okay so this is not valid code because 
there is no implicit conversion in C++ for malloc and all that. You have to be explicit about that. Okay, so either you are using this one, this is a C style casting, or you have to go with static cast, okay, which would look like this static cast integer pointer, uh oh, integer pointer, and we're done. See, compiled. So, this is not the point. The point is your malloc function return void pointer, that's why you can type cast that void pointer into any pointer like here we are using integer pointer someday you might use a character pointer okay character pointer c is equal to malloc and all that or sometimes you might use double double pointer d is equal to malloc okay like that but this malloc will always return void and you will just type cast that into your respective pointer so that's the use of void pointer generally people don't know if someone asks they will just confused so this is the best use you can say that okay and second use I can say is void pointers are used to create generic functions in C if you remember there was a compare function used in Q short function in C so this Q short is an inbuilt function provided in C which takes a compare function and compare function takes two parameter as void pointer and there was generic pointer so I think I'm done here if I left something which you know please comment it will be really helpful for others thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye